it's editing me here and I'm just wanted to say really quick this video is very petty and like hateful <laughs> and if you come to my channel for like positive vibes and like nice fun things this is not the video for you um please watch something else because this is just gonna be this is just ranting and raving and I, I'm editing it back again if you don't want rage do not watch Hello friends and welcome to my channel if you are new or welcome back if you are back. Either way, thank you so so much for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here. I mean, okay, honestly, um, this video, okay, um, if you're new, really quick, my name is Rabbit, my pronouns are they them. Okay, this video, you guys, mm, okay, basically, I, Monster High, love it. If you know anything about my channel, I have a big, I am a big Monster High fan, big Monster High collector, love it big part of my um, fashion inspiration, just think it's super cool overall, love collecting it, etc, etc. There has been a lot of Monster High news coming out lately, and I have had a lot of opinions about it, so <laughs> this video is basically me sharing those opinions. If you are not interested, um, please do not watch. If you like the- okay, if you like stuff that I am complaining about, okay, I've talked about this before, like, everyone's allowed to like what they like, and like, don't hate on people for like not liking the same things you like. I will be a hypocrite in this video. I am a hater. I'm sorry. I am such a hater of this freaking fashion show that I need to talk to you guys about that happened with like the New York Fashion Week and the Maisie Willen and like this whole Monster High collaboration. I hate it. I hate it. Need someone to talk about it. Y'all are here for me, I hope. Um, if you don't want to be there for that, no stress. I'll put timestamps about what I'm talking about um, below. But like, oh my god, I hate it. I hate it. I've been seeing it on Tumblr and I know that like, yeah, if you like it, I love that for you. Congrats. There's um, things for everyone, and I love that about things. And normally I say, like, keep quiet if you don't like things you don't like. But I can't keep quiet about this one. I don't know why. I just, ooh, it butchered something that I was so happy for and had such, like, um, an opportunity. So, like, I just, I can't. Okay, let's start. Let me, okay, okay. Let me make myself little. And we'll go um, into basically the process that I have gone through of seeing like the things that have been released um, and and uh, what what things have been looking like. At first I thought things on Tumblr and I was like this is fake, this has to be fake, there's no way, there's no way. I'm sorry, Claudine, there's no way, right? And then eventually I found that there was the like fashion show, this whole page, this nightmare that exists. So I'm gonna complain about all of it because I have lots of thoughts. Um, yeah, Ugh, frick. I can't, you guys. I can't believe they did this to us. I like there was so much potential, and <sighs> shall we start? Okay, Frankie. Okay, we'll give something a pass. We'll start with something nice. Why not? Start with start with something that I don't hate. I mean, not egregious light pass. Okay, this, um, this dress situation, I could see worse. There's definitely worse that has happened. Um, I think the model's really pretty. Why did they make all the models hair soaking wet? Don't understand that at all. Also, not really sure why so much of it has to be, like, see-through and stuff. Like, I, I mean, it's fine, whatever, but just Eh, whatever, it's fine. I get that this is Frankie Frankenstein. I, I see the resemblance, the relation. I hate the shoes. I hate that they reuse these shoes in multiple of the things. Okay, this picture, I hate the earrings. I know that this was like one of the things that they released and I'm gonna talk about it more in the next post that I'm gonna talk about, but I, fr mm, I okay, especially for $50. Everyone was like, oh, well, their earrings made of resin, so, like, resin's expensive. Resin is expensive when you buy, like, a big tub of stuff to make resin. That part's expensive, but actual, like, making little pieces, like, once you've gotten the whole thing, it's not... It... Mm, that bothers me. Um, this shirt pattern, it's not for me. I can see why people would like it. I... Yeah, I get the aesthetic there. That's why I give it a pass. The earrings, I hate. The shade, I hate. The fact that they're just, like silver on the top and like this other solid color and there's no like detailing or anything like that hate it for fifty dollars what the f like i get what they were going for D i hate this greasy hair why with the greasy hair love the eyebrows i want eyebrows like that um lipstick whatever the stitches i'm so thankful that they kept the stitches on frankie um i can tell this is frankie i wish they added more face stitches but like whatever we'll give it a pass okay this. Sorry, I'm new to filming like this. This promotional picture of the earrings. 
You can't see the earrings. This picture I'm like okay with, but again, with the freaking very greasy hair and the lack of makeup on this model, like natural look, I get there's a time and a place for it, but I feel like a Monster High inspired photo shoot is not the time and a place for a natural look. Like this model is gorgeous, but especially in the next picture, this looks like a passport photo. Like, they did her so dirty. There is no reason that the director or whatever had to be like, okay, now give me, like, you're at the DMV and you have to get your license taken and you're not allowed to smile. Also, if this is a promotional picture for the earrings, you can't even see the earrings in these freaking shots. Like, they're not... Ugh. They're not even the main focus at all. Like, if, if I saw this, I would think it was, like, a skincare ad, maybe. Or, like, like, just in general, if I saw these promotional pictures and someone was like, what do you think this is an ad for? I guess, like, I don't know, because that seems to be the focus to me, or, like, the brows, I guess, but, like, mm, mm, I, I guess they kept the natural makeup because they wanted to bring attention to the earrings, but I think it just does such a disservice, um, but also I hate the earrings, so what am I to say, what am I to judge, whatever, um, okay, next, heinous, egregious, oh my god, when I found out that this is how they were doing Dracula, they did her so dirty, I feel so bad for her, like, Jar. She would never. Firstly, the shade. What is this? Let me get a Draculaura so we can- Beautiful Miss Draculaura, my queen, my angel, my vegan vampire, lovely, like, hero icon model obsessed with her. She's like pastel pink. She's not, like, magenta. And the freaking- is this a bathrobe? Is it a trench coat? Someone called it a discount detective's trench coat. And I completely agree. Sorry, I butchered that sentence, but oh my god. I- ugh. Dracula would never. And it's like so uninspired. It's just like there's no shape. It's just like, hi, we like stuck like a massive, yeah, trench coat in silver with like a chunky belt. And then the ugliest shoes that we've repeated multiple times for, through this collection. Because like creativity is what Monster High is all about. The makeup, I guess. If. I. The eye makeup, I get what they were going for. I like the smudgy, death rocky look, but go all the way with it. I also feel like with all of the models, they like really overline the lips, and I, mm, I don't know, especially when they made this model magenta, and then gave her this like lilac metallic lip, and it all just kind of like blends in together, and it reminds me of like, same with like the eyebrows, they didn't like do really anything with their eyebrows, it looks like, and it reminds me of when I was like starting to do my makeup when I was like 14 and goth, and I would just put like pale foundation all over my face, including my lips, and then just black eyes. That's what this reminds me of, but it's pink. So like that, but pink. With the greasiest hair ever. Again, why? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. One thing that I kind of see that I kind of am like, please, you could have pushed that further, is this top, this situation, is giving me kind of like a Sweet Screams thing, but that was Frankie Sweet Screams. Like, Dracula's Sweet Screams look nothing, looks, it's, it's not like the black and red licorice kind of thing. So I don't get it at all. I don't get how it's related to Monster High. If you, like, this ugh. Nothing Monster High about this. Anger. Anger and resentment. And then, oh my lord. Why did they have to do her this dirty? There was no reason they had to do her this dirty. Like, okay, for sure, for first, for first, I thought that it was like, because I saw this picture first and I was like, oh, Dracula is black. Love that for her because pointy ears, if you look again at the Dracula doll, pointy ears, pointy little elf ears, and fangs, as the Dracula doll has. Um, freaking, um, werewolves? In what universe does a werewolf have elf ears and, like, little freaking vampire teeth and not, like, doggy ears and potentially, like, a tail? Like, if they give her a tail, that would be so cool. And, like, this shirt, I hate this shirt so much. This looks like a penny, like, that you would wear in the gym. Is that what they call them in America? I don't know. A lot of y'all are American. But in Canada, like, like when they'd be like, okay, like, green pennies are, like, this team and red pennies, like, this looks like a silver one of those. I hate it so much. These jeans are heinous, but you don't even know the worst thing about them. Oh my god, I am saving the worst thing about them for when we look at the website together because it is heinous. It is heinous. I hate it. They are just, like, weird jegging situations. Sorry, I'm trying to zoom in, not, like, pointing at their crotch but and, and it sucks because this model is so gorgeous the boots these are not my style of boots i can see how they're like claudine related i will give a somewhat pass on the boots but like original claudine's boots are a thousand times better you know if they give her like a more demonia style boot if they give her a platform boot i hate it i hate it i hate it the only thing okay 
slight teeny tiny thing that I'd like you're on thin ice though is um the rips in the cardigan I think that was a cool idea the rest I hated and I extra hate because this model is so pretty I love that she has like tiny freckles I really like the long lashes that they did but it looks nothing like Claudine it gives zero Claudine it just gives like vampire elf kind of I don't know and the oh my god what is this what is this it is it is just like those pillows that you can like change the colors I I hate it I hate it I'm sorry I'm like not a high fashion person so oh oh no okay props to them for using a uh okay this model I found out they use like all pronouns so that's like super cool and I do like the little use of prosthetics the rest I hate. I hate especially the brunette. Why? Why would you give the most like drab, greasy, boring brunette hair? And same complaint that I had with Draculaura, the fact that like the brows and the lips are kind of blended into the entire like face. Um, with the color of the skin, I don't have as much of a qualm as, as much as I did with like Magenta Draculaura, like this kind of like bluish is like not terrible and I do really really like the fins I think those are so cool but all I can see is the terrible 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 wet hair and I just like wish they did something cool with the hair and then I have like a specific qualm because yeah okay so in the past I've talked about like the doll like let me grab her I love this doll uh this Laguna doll she's like super pretty and like one of my favorites however this version of Laguna was basically like a version of Laguna that only existed when she was trying to like be a different person like a freshwater version of herself even though she's like naturally a saltwater person or saltwater ghoul um it was like her trying to change herself and be something that she wasn't for Gil's parents because his parents are like freshwater racist or whatever saltwater racist whatever it doesn't matter regardless this is like a liminal version of Laguna that doesn't exist and is like is like basically born out of like she's really weird in the movie it's in 13 wishes um it's like when she wishes for like Gil's parents to accept her and then it like changes her entirely and like this is a beautiful doll it's like super cool but it's like so sad that the one Laguna thing that they chose to feature was like Laguna when she was like not herself and trying to like please Gil's parents sorry I'm getting ahead of myself and I hate the shape of this dress I think that the fishnet layers would have been way cooler if they ripped some of the layers. Hate the shoes. They have nothing to do with Monster High. None of this has anything to do with Monster High. It's like so upsetting. Let's get more upset and look at the freaking website because this is even worse. And like at first I was like showing Cage like last night because I was just like I could not stop complaining about it. And I was like it has to be a parody. Like like that's what he was saying is like it looks like a parody. Um, and I was like reading their whole this freaking blurb it goes on forever but it's talking about how like um, it's all like holographic and futuristic and all of it's based on like you know what is the future like and like whatever whatever. If this is the, what the future is going to be like I want zero part in it. Take me away. I Take me out. I can't. This is horrifying. I, and for Monster High especially. Okay. I also, I just, I don't like the way they made the models pose. I find it super weird. I know that like when I was reading the blurb, it was explaining how they were trying to like unsettle the audience and like make it like weird and creepy. And I think that there's like such beautiful ways to make things weird and creepy. I can't. I can't. It's like a clear uh, beige colored trench coat with like wet hair. I don't get high fashion and you can roast me in the comments for this because like yeah I don't I like have tried to be like yeah you know everyone likes their own thing and like high fashion is like for some people and it's like just not for me and like whatever that's fine like and and I agree with that still but I hate it I hate this I hate this I'm sorry this is like such a terrible part of me that you are seeing now if you hate me and want to unsubscribe I completely understand but I'll, I'll take it, it honestly this this collection will take me down with it okay look number two Ah! Why? Why? Why the oven mitts? Let me put myself on this side. Why? Not oven mitts, but like rubber dishwashing mitts. I hate that. And the thing looks like a sock. It just looks like you put a model in an orange sock. And it's like upsetting because these models like probably like, work for so hard for their craft. They like get up early. They like keep their skincare super nice. Like they, they do all these things that are like questionable whether or not you think it's like, you know, like you know whatever they're like living their life they're doing their thing and you get dressed up in a sock and a pair of like rubber mitts 
upsetting. The shoes, it looks like they kind of did, like, heels with, like, grass growing on them. Great idea. Looks horrible in that picture. It's, like, giving me Dr. Seuss in not a good way. It's, like, not giving me future. It's not giving me, like, revolutionary. It's not giving me anything. Okay, this? No. No. I'm sorry. I hate all of it. I see they repeated the Claudine boots. It looks like a bodysuit over leggings that are, like, matching. The model looks very bored, which, like, I get is, like, the art direction thing. But I, like, oh, I am so over, like, boredom and apathy as, like, as, like, cool. And, like, like, like what, in my opinion, is cool is, like, being passionate about the things you love and, like, having, like, I don't know, like, I don't know. I, ugh, when I see this, it just, like, makes me, like, just deflate. And, like, I know that they were trying to, like, shock and make it cool and, like, whatever, whatever. But it just, I feel, honestly being in this like virtual reality space or whatever like just makes me feel like I'm getting laughed at by like cool popular girls that I like I'm insecure about around school which I get is what they're going for but again with the rubber oven mitts and this like blue and red and white which just makes me think of America which just like ugh, eh, mm. I kind of like what they did the like little flippy do with the hair is like kind of fun but the rest I hate I don't know if she's on a phone or what, but I feel like she's, like, judging me, and it's not fun. Okay. Look for This. Oh, this is the heinous thing. This is the heinous thing. Claudine. My poor baby Claudine. And this, this model's so pretty. And she's, like, working it so hard. And look what they did to her. Look at these stupid fucking pants. I can't. It's, like... They look like the onesies, like, with the butt flaps, but you just have, like, one central butt flap. And, like, the ribbon on the top is just giving me more, like, I hate it so much. I hate those pants. This looks like a joke. This looks like a parody. This, this, I have zero words. It's, like, so upsetting to me. I can't with this. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm sorry. There's, like, I, I always say, like, don't, like, engage with things that, like, make you upset, but, like, I can't look away. I can't. Okay. Small respite. I think one thing that I don't like is a lot of the outfits and stuff are, like, super matching the skin tone of the model. Like, whether it's, like, that clear rain suit that we saw at the beginning. The rain suit. The, like, poncho thing. Or this thing where, like, technically she's green, but the way it's photographing it just, like, looks like she's just naked or something. I- okay. One thing that I like about this outfit, I like that there's, like, this finger attachment of the sleeves. The rest... I don't like it. The- okay, no. The fishnets are okay. This would be cool if it was, I don't know, not for Monster High. That's the thing, is it's like, this is fine, but like, not for Monster High. I don't know who this, if this is based off anyone, but it just gives me kind of like private school. I have nothing to say about this. Not Monster High. This, I have so many, this is so stupid. I hate this. This makes me angry. This looks so f***ing dumb. I'm sorry. I, it just... People, I feel like, are trying to make, like, the metaverse happen and this and that happen. And I was talking to Cage about this last night, and I was like, I just hope that every, like, I hope that everyone just gets, like, made fun of until they stop, like, trying to make the metaverse a thing. I don't want it to be a thing. Like, I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate the making, trying to make it fashionable. I hate the shoes. I hate these shoes that they've repeated. They remind me of, like, like, I wear slippers when I work in the cat room at my work. Um, and they have, like, little cat faces on them, and they're like, adorable. But if I like were to take those and paint them black and put a bunch of spikes on them that's what they remind me of and i just hate it and this just feels like weird athletic wear where with like ugly spiky shoes and the why are you what are you punching i hate this this is so stupid ay yeah yeah sorry i'm just repeating myself but okay again miss model you are so gorgeous i'm so sorry that you signed up for this that they signed you up for this that okay the backless that's pretty that's pretty beautiful but i hate the dress i do for real it does not look like anything that claudine would ever wear okay that oh i hate the art direction because i was reading in the like blurb about this that the that um if you were like in the fashion show all of these were supposed to be like hologram like figures that were like eight feet tall and like whatever whatever I I can't with that. It I hate stuff that like takes itself so seriously but just looks like 
not like this yeah you could get this at freaking like winners or like whatever and there's nothing wrong with like getting things at winners but like it's not monster high and it's not like the thing that they could have elevated it to and it's just sad to see all that opportunity go to waste okay this is like the only thing that i'm like okay kind of makes sense to do like the misting of the water i'm like kind of living for this like the way that this model is like presenting themselves this is like something that i love the the this model like i can actually like like, I'm having fun watching them. I'm, like, feeling it. I'm, like, yeah, give me that. Like, all this, like, weird, like, I'm, like, scrolling on my phone apathetically. I hate that. Um, but I don't know who it's based off. Like, it kind of gives me Laguna vibes, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be more, like, goblin going. Which, not sure what the, what the trope of this is, what this is going for. Oh, maybe it's just, like, supposed to be a witch. I don't know. Either way, I hate the pants. They remind me of something that I'd see at Free People or at Urban Outfitters when I worked at Urban Outfitters that would be, like, three hundred dollars and just like the ugliest fucking pants you've ever seen um the shirt gives me frankie stein i think it's like the same as the dress that she was wearing earlier but like kind of cut into a shirt don't hate the shirt it's a pants but i do like the effect that the water is giving i think that's really pretty but i hate the wet hair on all the models i think it looks so dumb okay I just feel bad because this model is so cool and she's working it or they're working it or but, but the fuck I hate it it's the tackiest and I I don't know if it's like because they're like oh it's supposed to unsettle the audience and da, da, da. and all I see is lazy bs hi we're gonna get like a skin tone kind of shower curtain thing and we're gonna make you a very ugly like dress and sh shirt combo like I hate it I hate it and then you're gonna put on these orange gloves and then work it and this model is like supposed to make it look good and no matter how the cool they look because trust me this model looks really cool I just think it looks I hate it it doesn't give me monster high it doesn't I don't such lost potential I don't what does this have to do with anything what does this have to do with anything? I hate this material that they're using on like all this like silver sequin things. The like lace up back is like not the most horrible thing. This hair, I hate this hair with a passion. I know it's supposed to be like 1960s or something, but it, I mean, I know art's supposed to make you feel something. So like maybe that's, okay, we already talked about this. Hate it, love that the model's going for it. Especially hate what they did with Laguna's hair. Okay, I no, I hate, okay, I don't, like coughing up and then like kind of like I don't know it gives me like oh, I'm smoking a cigarette very sexy but also like coughing up seawater and I just I hate it sorry I have like zero constructive criticism hmm. yeah she's cute with like the little like I uh, like yes I like the little teeth thing it's cute but this little pantsuit this little just it's like it's like a pajama pantsuit for work for like power suit I don't even if Draculaura was like a corporate office worker, she would not wear this. It... Silk is cool. These kind of things could be cool, but it's so boring. It's just like red silk with like some little black... Like, and like I said before, it's giving me kind of like, um... Frankie Stein... Let me make sure I'm still recording. It's giving me kind of Frankie Stein, um... Sweet Screams a little bit. But no... No! Also, it's very pixelated. I'm trying to zoom in, but I can't for some reason. Mm -hmm. More criticisms. No! No! Okay, I try not to say that things are cringy, but the way the director made this person act, where they were like, go scarier. Like, scarier! <laughs> and she just, like, it like she's like oh, like you could just see it like go scary it's scary ah like ah i hate it it just like feels so uncomfortable to watch and like the shirt like yeah you can rip up your clothes and i advocate for that and it's a cool thing but like just ripping up a sweater and putting it over fishnets is not enough to be like yeah high fashion monster high like i hate that i hate that this is considered high fashion i hate that there feels like no creativity like i'm sorry Maisie willen if you ever see this i don't know what your normal stuff is like like we just have different tastes i'm sure and like i just i'm like into over the top eclectic like whatever like i get it we have different tastes but like the fact that this is ah! 
anger anger the thing is if like regular people were like it's fine like it's cool whatever but the fact that this is like for a this is like professional like they probably had like a huge budget this is supposed to be like an ode to monster high in the future how is this the future how how and why do they keep like again they keep putting this poor lady in a sock Again and again and again, they just take a one color sock and are like, here, let me put a bunch of cuts in it and then put this lady in it. Uh, ah! Like it... It doesn't feel like performance art. It feels like a parody. And I hate when they added the orange to the shoes. All I am is a hater. I just hate and hate. I have so much hate in my heart. Oh, it's sponsored by Yahoo. Oh, Yahoo, ever since Tumblr, bane of my existence. Again with these pants. These, like, this model looks like they borrowed their pants, no, their dad's pants, from, like, a 70s, like, disco party. And also their dad's loafers. And the jacket, or the sweater ripped up, again, it's fine, but it, none of this feels high fashion, none of this feels monster high, all of it, it feels it, tacky and... The dancing feels so uncomfortable to watch, and not in like a, ooh, I'm like feeling like unsettled and it's like all so mysterious. It just feels like, you know, like the Wii loading screen when it's like, do, 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 do. I don't know if that's what they actually do, but it just feels like a character loading screen in like not a fun way and just like a really awkward, uninteresting, uninspired way. Okay, we already said we'd give this a pass, but I hate, hate, hate the art direction again on this hologram like acting thing. Like, oh, you're tired, you're tired, oh, oh, shock, electric shock, oh, so, like, ah, I don't know why, it just feels really, and I hate to say that word, cringy, I'm trying to, like, I always tell myself, like, because I hate when people call me cringy and, like, stuff that I do cringy, so I try not to do it to other people, and, like, this and that, and, like, I'm just being a hypocrite in this video, I get it, I get it, but I need to get it out, I, mm, 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 mm. this I hated so much, this I hated so much, where it was, like, it, where it's just like these these two like creatures like laughing at you or whatever and you just feel like oh okay like <sighs> in like long johns like when I used to go like hiking in when it was really cold out when I was a kid my mom would make me wear long johns that's what this outfit is giving me but you gave them like little heels this thing I have nothing to say of. It just feels like- what was that store? Oh my god. I'm not gonna remember what it was called, but there was like this store in the mall that had like all sorts of like spandexy dresses and lots of like cheetah print stuff and everything was like really cheap and it like fell apart pretty quickly. This reminds me of like stuff that you would get there. I hate again the very greasy hair. I, I hate the art direction, especially if you think about like Monster High and the fact that it's all about like inclusion and like loving your freaky flaws and like whatever, the fact that like one of the like art directions was like, okay, now make fun of the audience just like feels like so like, oh, like you're very cool and very like exclusive, I see. Ugh, I hate, I hate, I hate. This is not for me. This is not for me. This is really not for me. Again. Can we stop putting these poor models in rubber gloves and stupid fucking see-through plastic shower curtain skirts? I'm like into like the weird poses like I feel like the models are like really giving the best with what they have and like with the art direction they're given but like Again, what is this? This just looks like rich white woman in her like skincare mask like getting ready for bed I hate it. Like, is this supposed to be an aesthetic? Is this supposed to be a look? Like, yes, I want those fuzzy slippers. Shut up. But the, the, the I hate this whole, like, modern, like, it just, it feels like the laziest interpretation you could have gone for for the future and stuff. God, I hope the designer never sees this because, like, I, I hate being such a hater, but, like, it's just so sad. It's so sad. What? More, like, laughing at the audience? Okay. But also, like, laughing at the audience wearing, like, jeggings and a f like what what where has the high fashion gone i i feel like this is the straightest monster high collab you could have ever possibly f created like you could not have tried to be more like this is so bad 
Do you think this will be like an April Fool's joke? Do you think they'll come out with the real one and they'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, we were just kidding? Do you think that'll happen? Again, with the bodysuit over like leggings that are the same and the like leaf um, sandals. I don't get it. Feels like Jimmer. Okay, I love the face prosthetics. I did not see the face prosthetics before. That's really cool. More of that. Less of. Come on. Like, I see you have the capability for creativity. I see it. And I am disappointed that I am not seeing more of it. And then again, everyone has different tastes and stuff. But like, mmm. I'm like being the exact kind of person that I hate. That I'm like, when things don't conform to my tastes, they're bad. Where like, no, everyone's allowed to have their tastes. But let me complain more. Okay. One time someone told me that I look like I dress like the Disney Channel or whatever. Like, you know, the... Let me explain. This kind of situation. So, whenever I feel bad about myself, that comment tends to come up. <laughs> I think about that a lot. This gives me that same vibe. Like, the Disney Channel fashion. With, like, this, like, kind of pattern. And, like, I wear leggings and skirts all the time because I live in Canada and it's too cold to wear skirts outside in the winter, but I wear skirts all the time. So, like, yeah, whatever. I wear Disney Channel fashion. Go at yourself. I don't care. But, uh, this gives me it in the worst way. And the facial expression I hate very much. It just... I, it, what is it? It... it, it, it like... <laughs> I hate it! Like, what is it? What the fuck? What the fuck? And I feel like people are gonna be like, yeah, this collection did what it was supposed to do because it, like, unsettles the viewer. No! It just makes me hate it. It, and again, just the, the the same as the white um, suit, or the red suit, but in white. Dech. Dech. Okay, I... The glitch is annoying, more than anything. I would like to see the fashion, please. The fact that you are glitching out is making it very difficult to see. Um, it feels like some stupid bodysuit in like that kind of holographic pattern which like I think would make a really cool jester costume like if you started that as the base and then had like a massive poofy collar some sick makeup some sick hair and like all these cool accessories big platform boots and then just like this super sleek um silhouette other than the giant collar and the massive boots I think that would be so cool I think there's like such cool st stuff you can do with that but you're like no let me put them in a little bodysuit with ugly giant rubber gloves and little heels are gonna be like, that's the future, babes. No, oh, I hate. Okay, one left. One piece of torture, and then we will be free. Okay, the truest. They they save the truest for last. And I feel so bad for this model because that's like a cool. Like yes, I love that they did that. The the freaking like pulling them back like on the yes, that's so freaking cool. The discount detective trench coat in silver. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? You butchered it. You butchered it and I will never forgive you. I will never forgive you. Okay. So, I'm upset about that. Let's talk about a thing that I am not upset about. To break it up a little bit. Because I've been... A <laughs> okay, you guys. Oh! Okay, this. 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 This restored my faith. This Draculaura specifically. Why am I not being able to zoom in anymore? I can't zoom in on my freaking laptop. I don't understand why. Oh, probably because... Okay, there we go. This Draculaura... I'm sorry, she restored my faith. I... The hat is adorable. The hair with the little curls is really cute. I love... It looks like they did like kind of that thing that Operetta has where like it's like a little bit of like a bumped up thing. I love that. The cape with the freaking spider web or like the kind of spider web and the bat kind of inside i'm obsessed i love it it's so cute this little shirt underneath honestly i died for when i saw the prototype of just like the little white shirt i was like okay i can rest my heart like my heart can rest easy this belt it looks like it has tiny little pink hearts are you joking me that's ridiculous i love that the skirt in this picture looks good, but in other pictures looks really cheap in my opinion. I am not gonna shy away from that saying that. It looks really cheap and this is an $80 doll. So um the fabric bag, incredible. Little tiny baby zipper. That's ridiculous. I love that they kept um the long sleeves. It looks like they did tiny little vampire 
lips on the ribbon that's incredible um it looks like her earrings might be like her original earrings where they're um the silver safety pins but they're in pink i think that's super cool hair looks beautiful i this is a personal preference and i know a lot of people disagree but i am not a fan of rooted eyelashes on dolls i find that it's annoying for them to get like squished and stuff um i have some like novi stars up there and they have rooted eyelashes and it's just like more of a hassle than it's worth all my custom dolls that i make um they all have like eyelashes that i stuck on it's like a pain they look really pretty but they're like a pain to upkeep in my opinion um i just and i don't think they just like add that much i think the rooted eyelashes was very much in um competition with monster high competition with rainbow high um and like they're really good quality articulation and um rooted eyelashes and this and that so i feel like that's where that's coming in and i feel like it was unnecessary that's just me um this necklace feels like it's one solid piece of um plastic maybe the little heart is painted black in the center if that was true that would be super cool the makeup i love the makeup i love this red lipstick um it looks like she has like white highlighter underneath and like kind of a dusty pink on top love it the heart just like silhouette love it i didn't know she had like little leggings with like the little laces that's so cute and the shoes okay i was okay i thought the shoes were unpainted at first and it's really cool to see that they look like they at least have like some detail with the painted buckles like the heart buckles that's amazing also looks like there's multiple layers on the skirt so i really like to see that Okay, criticism, I'm sorry, I'm a hater about this one thing. Why did they give Frankie the reboot face? Why? It looks like they did not give Dracula or the reboot face, and then for some reason they give Frankie one? And then the blue eyeshadow, not a super big fan. I like that they give her this little hair clip, I can't quite tell what it is, but it looks pretty. I like the lip color. The earrings I could give or take, they honestly... Mm. The fact that they did her hair so long, and I feel like it's like a fun thing. Like, if you look, it goes like down to her, the top of her boots, which I think is fun for Frankie. There's like not that many Frankie dolls, at least the ones that I have that have hair that long. So that's just like a fun thing to see. But I don't like the way they styled it. Um, I know that's a fixable thing. Totally nitpicky, totally a small thing. I do like the thick eyebrows. I have naturally very thick eyebrows, so I love seeing others with thick eyebrows. I also love shaved off eyebrows. I think that's super cool too. But um, yeah, I like the thick eyebrows. I don't like the reboot face. I don't know why they did that. I, th I find that really, why? Um, top shirt, cool, no complaints, feels, um, I really like this kind of silver harnessy thing, even though it kind of feels more like armor than it does, um, other things and this outfit feels a lot less preppy than i'm used to frankie like i know there's like a little bit of prep with like the the collar but like yeah um the skirt i like a lot i like it a lot a lot um if i had it i would definitely like add some extra uh chain links i think that would be super cool but it kind of reminds me of her reminds me a lot of her sweet 1600 skirt um which i think is cool um the bag is i I don't like the lightning bolts. If I take off the lightning bolts, I really like the rest of it. Like, if the lace-up was bigger and there was no lightning bolts, I think I would like it a lot. But that's, like, honestly, it's just a super personal little nitpick. Like, whatever. Um, the shoes. I love the shoes. Oh, my God. Monster High was, like, such... Like, the shoes were, like, such a thing for me. Like, I love when I get a doll that I've never seen before and I see the shoes for the first time. It's like... Oh, the feelings that I get. Um, so yeah, I love these shoes. I think they're incredible. Um, out of all their shoes, I think Frankie's actually might be my favorite. Um, okay. And then, is it just me or do I, do any of else of you feel like Claudine was a little bit of an afterthought with this? And I, I, I hesitate to say that, but when I look, let me zoom out so I can, it might just be because of the style differences, honestly. But I, I feel like they have a lot more deep, like, okay, so, like, sh like, okay. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, Draculaura has the hat, the cape, the undershirt, the overshirt, the skirt, the belt, the leggings, the long sleeves, the shoes, the purse. Like, that's so many things, okay? Frankie has, like, it looks like the undershirt, the, the like, poofy part, the silver, like, uh, this thing, the belt, 
the skirt, the shoes, and the bag. And then it's like Claudine has like a shirt and a skirt and a necklace. And like, yes, a headband and some rings. But like, comp- I don't. I just feel like they got. And like the jacket, I guess. Okay, the jacket I freaking love. I think the jacket's a really cool thing. Um. I love that they gave her a choker. Oh, good. Okay, I didn't see that in the other pictures. Because at first I just saw the, like, this necklace. And honestly, it just gave me Perry and Pearl. And I was like, are we, are we serious? Um, like the headband. Don't like the solid purple earring. Love the gold earrings. Um, the shirt feels very, like, early 2000s. And I don't love it. Sorry. Um, bracelet, cool. This also feels very, like, early 2000s and I don't love it. But also, like, Claudine's style was... Claudine and Laguna and Cleo styles were some that I, like, gravitated less towards. I gravitate much more towards Frankie and Dracula styles. Um, the leather skirt, I think, is awesome. I love that they have, like, all the stitching, the little bolts. It looks like it's really, really detailed and it's not just, like, printed on. It's, like, um, actually in there. I know this is, might be controversial, but I hate the fun bag i think it's i think it looks bad and i think the fact that like the they got fabric bags and she got a plastic bag is like yeah and i know i know it's the freaking homage to the old the the you know but i i don't like the bag i'm sorry personal preference i don't like the bag i'm curious how long her hair is does it just go down to there like to there hmm love the socks think the socks are so cool they look like fishnet socks the shoes, I like the moon buckle, but the rest of it is like, eh. Um, but yeah, I think the furry, f- the furry fur, <laughs> the furry jacket is like super cool. Um, the choker is amazing. Everything about Dracula is incredible. Um, Frankie's accessories are fun, uh, but for eighty dollars, honestly, I would maybe, maybe, maybe consider getting Dracula. Maybe, but like, um, but the other ones, I just I, for eighty dollars now. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about: Nickelodeon Monster High. There it is. Okay, okay. So the last thing that I wanted to talk about was the Nickelodeon uh, promotional picture or whatever that came out for the Monster High TV series, it seems, um, and thoughts and feelings and opinions on that. Okay, so I have to say, when I first saw it, I was very disappointed. I was like, what the- it just- I was like, that's not my Monster High. Like, that's not- no, you know? And then I had to take a step back, and I had to remember, I am not the target demographic, and this is not a show for me, and this is, like, on Nickelodeon, so it kind of, like, makes sense that the fashion looks like that. And then I kind of tried to, like, soften my heart a little bit, and I was like, okay, like, I don't hate the idea of a moon print top and, like, a fuzzy jacket on Claudine with, like, the layered belts, and I love that Claudine has freckles as, like, a newly re-freckled person myself um I just got them re-tattooed um love that love the brows Claudine in glasses interesting choice um Claudine being played by a light-skinned actress when Claudine like in canon is um dark-skinned like she's like a dark-skinned uh black-coated character that sucks in my opinion um like I I think it would have been really cool if they had cast a darker-skinned person to play a character that is canonically darker-skinned um but I also don't want to, like, hate on an actor for taking a role. I don't know. I can't really make the decisions about that. Or feel free to discuss all these um, things in the comments. Um, the nails, I hate these nails. I I know that, like, long nails are a thing. And I know that they're supposed to look like claw because, like, she has... She's, like, a, a werewolf, so she, like, should have claws. But um, I hate that shape. It just... It feels like Halloween store nails. Also, I can't tell if it's just this photo... Or if these ears are like CGI'd on, or if they're just hair curls, or what the fuck that is, but I hate it. I'm just gonna say I hate it. If they give Claudine a tail, I think that would be cool. Um, really like the eye color. Um, think that we could have gone with way better makeup. Honestly, the thing that I'm most mad about in this promotional picture is the makeup. Um, because, like, what? 
what is this? Also, why does Frankie have no more face stitches? And, um, I, I know, I know that Frankie's being played by a non-binary actor, so that's really cool. Love to see that. Would have loved if, um, the outfits were a little more cool. Because, like, yeah, I, I guess this, like, kind of industrial-looking, like, dress is, like, yeah, and, like, the collar shirt, like, makes sense with Frankie, and the blue tie is, like, kind of a callback to, like, the original Frankie, but, like, <laughs> it's, like, not really giving me anything, and, I, yeah, where are the face stitches? Hate the hot pink earrings when, like, all the rest of it looks, like, so, like, dark and gloomy. Um, Draculaura's, like, I, I see what they were going for trying to incorporate that kind of more Victorian Gothic Lolita aesthetic, but I really think they missed the mark, but also it's Nickelodeon, like, what do you expect? Um, I don't know why they look- it looks like they photoshopped her nails. Like, it looks like they just, like, were like, let's cut out and put a picture of the- like, I don't know why her nails look really weird in this picture. Um, I hate the hair. Claudine's hair looks okay. Draculaura, this wig is heinous. Frankie, this wig is heinous. I, I feel so bad for them. Um, but yeah. I, I guess I also just, like, with the caveat, all of this is, like, it's for children, so, like, I can't be too upset. But the- this? This? This collection? This was not made for children. This was made probably for adults and people who are into fashion, and as an adult and someone who is into fashion, I hate this. I think it's so tacky, I think it's so ugly, I think it's such a wasted opportunity and made me really, really mad. And I know that normally I try to tell people, like, not to judge, um, fashion stuff and, like, you know, whatever their people want to dress up like is none of your business and, like, leave them alone and, like, still agree with that, but God, what a wasted opportunity. Feel free to call me a hypocrite in the comments and a hater. I am both. Okay? <laughs> um, anyway, that's all I got for today. Feel free to let me know what y'all thought- what y'all's thoughts are because I hate this and I kind of need validation that other people hate it too but also if you love it feel free to let me know feel free to let me know why um and tell me what you're excited about in terms of new monster high news because I need to like get this energy out somehow and I love you all thank you so much for sticking with me till the end hope you're having a great day or night or whenever you're watching this and I hope you have a good one bye